Hello again, a new day, hopefully a new fix. Here I have a new ELEC amplifier. I use that uh, for uh, LoRa, I use that for helium miners. I don't know what's happening, but this guy is not working anymore. So everything was so fine and suddenly I found one of my miners, you know, just uh, went back like witnesses, you know, and numbers and so on. My first was to check the power supply. Let me have uh, five volts in here. Input, no LED. So that's the power supply I used. Same story, nothing here, but we can simply check the output of the power supply. I have no doubt it's perfect. Five volts. Yes, nothing left to do but to open the amplifier and to check what's wrong in there. Here we have two nuts. We have to take this out. And then we have the screws at the extremities, keeping the panels in place. The body itself, it's a extruded aluminum. It's a very clever box. And there we are. I don't see nothing obvious here. We can check the connector. Do I have any suspicions? Uh, yes, I believe this guy have a linear regulator, a voltage regulator, a 7805 or something that kind, which will, uh, yeah, we have the power there. No problem. Do we have a short? Don't think so. As long as we got voltage there. How we take this out? Huh? It's much more complex than I thought. We have a diode there. I'm afraid I have to take all this shield out. Okay, let's do that. So I'm just taking a kind of mechanical approach. <laughs> Brute force. Oh. Oh, everything's fine. I hope I didn't destroy any parts. Of course I did. Oh, that's a resistor. Good. We can put it back. 500 ohms. Okay. You just go back in place here. 538 volts there. Okay. Let's plug in. Eighty milliamps. This is good, but if I'm checking the um, numbers, I should have five volts here. Not anymore. One twenty-four. Is there a short here somewhere? Focusing to the table, and let's go. There you go. <laughs> so we have this piece of trace uh, input and then we have this guy here. Let's see. Yeah. And here at the input, of course, it's this resistor or bypass in fact so i believe this circuit here it's our guy for sure okay all right so it's this guy here l l x b which i coil or something around not quite but we have the main circuit it's nine zero three five that's an input diode here for sure. This is the main amplifying circuit LLXB. What is that? Yeah, like I said, this is a low noise LDO can supply up to 250 milliamps output current. Designed to meet the requirements of RF analog circuit. Okay, what's happening here with pin one and to diode mode 
this is pin 1 here and that is pin 2 no short but we have a short from pin 1 to 3 enable input this is clear this resistor here it's a very clear plus I can see the LED running so there is no short the other side but we have something strange here and this is from pin 1 to pin 3 we have a short so it's this guy no okay so number 3 on this circuit is enable input a low voltage and this pin turns the regulator off and discharge output pin to ground okay so this is a filter here the plus is coming all the way the plus going to the diode and then the plus is coming to this pin here no problem okay so i found out that uh, 9035 circuit the amplifier itself it's supplied with plus from uh, pin 7 through the output i may say and uh, here we have plus on c11 i'm not sure if it's the circuit itself or one of these capacitors here so that's why i'm gonna supply them with power and then apply a current to see what's happening there but you know something as long as we are here we can take out the capacitors and uh, check them for short we got three capacitors parallel one it's out number two it's out number three it's out do we have anything else in the path no this is very clear that's the uh, that should be the output from the power regulator going through this coil and then to pin 7 c11 goes out okay now let's check for uh, for short on c11 same story let me take c11 out now pin 7 from the amplifier it's absolutely disconnected we only have a coil to plus but nothing to ground and yes 9035 it's shorted to ground I'm really curious what's happening if we apply uh, the power supply let's see all right so here I have my multimeter on milliamps all right so here we have the plus and here we have pin okay this goes to output of 83 milliamps well in fact it's not so bad this circuit should work with 115 milliamps we can do a simple test I'll just uh, connect a piece of wire from pin 7 okay we are good there and then let me apply here in this point piece of wire a very thin piece of wire and we are coming with 5 volts okay we can uh, we can simply check the USB power supply tester and power on let's see there and we have a 60 milliamps of uh, supplying 60 milliamps exactly like the beginning if you remember let me see about the voltage no fix 60 milliamps before the filter 5 volts here present nothing here the filter is taking all the all the charge very very clear short on uh, 9035 circuit unfortunately it's nothing else to do for now that's it for today it's a no fix and uh, i'll wait for the replacement parts 
In the meantime, please like, please subscribe and of course don't forget to write bye bye.